but it's quite all right. You, you and your hair. What is this for? Pardon? What, what, what are you doing this for? I, I don't really know, to tell you the truth. <laughs> oh, well, fun! We actually knew exactly what we were doing, of course. We gathered all the components of what constitutes a modern documentary. We've even got a bit of the usual jeopardy that's acquired in all films these days. Contains mild peril, as I say. But we're also documenting the event. Obviously we concentrated on individuals, but equally we concentrated on processes. There's drama in people not completing a ride that they prepared and planned for. And people are looking for dramatic reasons, usually in the foreground. And if you concentrate on that foreground, you miss a lot of what's going on. BBP is a standalone project. There isn't the time to evolve the best possible way of doing things. How things happen is pretty much determined by the people who are available and put themselves forward, and who are subject to working unreasonable hours. When you talk to the riders, you realise they're the kind of people who can cope with this. It's often part of the working life. Gabriel, Jabrail, but in Russian it sounds like Gabriel. Gabriel, right. And what do you do in uh, St. Petersburg then? I'm working. Working? <laughs> that sounds very secretive. <laughs> no, no. I'm a kind of uh, project manager. All oh, right, okay. Wie geht's dir, Gabi? Oh, ja, es ging schon besser. Aber das war ja jetzt auch die schlimmste Etappe. I did the worst bit. Now the next to worst, and then we are all in, all all clear. Ein Fünfer vor. For this? One minute. <laughs> I, I spend um, a couple of hours on the floor in Brest because they now have the Ludiac problem. Oh, do they? Yeah, because everybody can go to Brest now because we're starting that much earlier. Yeah. And closer together. So lots of people were in Brest and they couldn't all sleep in the dor uh, dortoir. Oh. And they had a room with open windows and a cooling truck outside running its engine. Lovely. And um, the uh, medical assistants working on people. Uh, 9.50? <laughs> she sorted it out, finally. Finally, what did she charge you eventually? 3.50. But I told you that. Sandwich. After a cheese sandwich for days now, this is the first time I managed to get my hands on one. And here you are in France, you'd, you'd think that would be a, a relatively easy it's ask. It's got jam boy in it, and um, uh, I don't eat meat, so. Right. And nobody will let me pick it out and give them the meat, and I can have the rest of the sandwich, so. I managed to find a nice lady around the corner who made me a. Uh, Excellent. Shepherd, so. Goat Quite cheese reasonable. sandwich. Riders start to avoid the cafeterias to avoid the queues. Even though at Tarnteniac there's no reason to do that. The cafeteria is hidden away upstairs, along a corridor. That means it's quiet enough to be fairly efficient. There are a number of perplexing aspects to PBP. Some systems originate from the much larger Semen Federal, which has 15,000 participants. They are by tokens from a central point to concentrate the problem of handling money. They did that at the outdoor stalls at Ludiac, which caused some confusion. But all the controls act independently, so Fougere has no sandwiches in the bar. While at Mortan, they're freshly prepared by a caterer. So in theory, you'd be able to get a cheese and ham sandwich without the ham. 